Hello everybody, this is uh, Oral Washington. We are kicking off on season three, season three of the Oral Washington rant. Um, today, I want to uh, kick the one uh, rant off with a current event rant. Um, well, what better way to kick this on uh, current event rant off is what uh, was going on uh, with the um, well, well, with the uh, Academy Award situation. Uh, we, we have um, Stacey Dash who um, come in and on it. We have Judge Pickett who um, come, in, come in and on it as well. Um, many of y'all, y'all kind of uh, know a lot about the issue and stuff like that. But but uh, I want to want to give you my um, personal perspective about the situation that's going on too. And I'm going to give you my input on it. But first, before I do that, I want to present you with the actual um, full video of uh, Stacey Dash doing a doing her interview with with Fox and Friends so I'm gonna present that video to you then after that I'll come in, come back and I'll make a comment on it. This morning there's some growing outrage with some over the lack of diversity in this year's list of Oscar nominees. Filmmaker Spike Lee and actress Jada Pinkett Smith say they're not going to go to the Oscars next month after an all-white list of nominees was announced for the major categories for a second year in a row. Join us now to weigh in, actress and Fox News contributor Stacey Dash. Stacey, good morning to you. Good morning. Well, what do you think about this? I think it's ludicrous. Why? Because we have to make up our minds. Either we want to have segregation or integration. And if we don't want segregation, then we need to get rid of channels like BET and the BET Awards and the Image Awards, where you're only awarded if you're black. If it were the other way around, we would be up in arms. It's a double standard. So it's, you say there shouldn't be a BET channel? No, I don't think so, no. Just like there shouldn't be a Black History Month. You know, it, we're Americans, period. That's it. Are you saying there shouldn't be a Black History Month because there isn't a White History Month? Exactly, exactly. Uh, Al Sharpton has uh, uh, jumped on the, this boycott bandwagon. He says, don't watch because Hollywood, here's a quote, Hollywood has become like the Rocky Mountains. The higher you get, the whiter. The whiter you get. Well, that's not necessarily true. And if it is, you know, that needs to change. What I find astounding is that we've had a president who is black in office for the past eight years, who gets most of his funding from the liberal elite in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Yet there are not very many roles for people of color. How well, can that be? And why is it just now being addressed? I, I can understand, Jada, uh, Pinkett Smith's frustration that her husband wasn't nominated yeah. for, you know, he did a great job in the movie uh, Concussion. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, what does that say about how people are selected for these awards? Right. That's assuming they're selected by race, which I, I think would be a very dis a disservice to the people who are looking at the films and making the choices. Maybe they knew they need to be more, you know, integrated and, and, and there need to be more diverse people in the process of electing. In the academy. In the academy. Uh, the, the demographics of the academy apparently are, are secret, but for the most part, according to some investigation out in Hollywood, yeah. it's, uh, it's predominantly uh, white males. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. So maybe that says something about who they select, or are, are, are they looking for that, or the best movies and the best actors? I, I hope they're looking for the best movies and the best actors. The good news is that there's attention brought to it now. But like I said, over the past eight years, we've had a president who's black, who gets his funding mainly from Hollywood, the elite liberals. Yeah. So it's odd to me that this has now become such an issue. Well, let's see uh, what happens, because uh, they are calling for people not to watch it. Let's see if the ratings go down. Yeah, I doubt it. By the way, <laughs> before you go, happy birthday. Oh, thank you. It's your birthday today. Okay, everybody. Um, That's a very interesting and very sensitive uh, interview that, that um, Stacey Dash did on Fox, Fox and Friends. I'm sorry. Um, now, I want to... Um, Deliver my input about this this um, whole interview and stuff on hopefully uh, by me getting my input It will share some light about uh, what's going on uh, first first and foremost is that uh, uh, Truthfully, I'm not I, I honestly agree with Stacy Dash on what she's saying about uh, Everything she said in this interview uh, and I'm not believe by you know through social media stuff uh, everything goes um, 
out of proportion and be blown out of proportion about what people say. Uh, you know, what people do, uh, what people normally do. Uh, they only cur cut out, they only focus in on certain aspects of what people are saying instead of trying to gather the full truth about what's going on. And by, by this, uh, by me, uh, you know, researching the video, which it took me a very long time to find this full video, by the way. Because every time I try to look for this video, I always see the clip starting where she's saying that she want to boycott book where she thinks BET should be boycotted and stuff. You know what I'm saying? And so people just run with that thinking that she does um, not pro-black at all and stuff like that and stuff. Now, now here's the truth about what she's saying about the video and stuff. There are some things that she's saying in, in this video, some keywords that she's saying in this video. Um that she was trying to say, but she was only limited to say a certain stuff, you know what I'm saying? So um, one of the main key words that she was saying about in this video, um, first of all, was the, was the segregation and integration. Um, segregation, when she mentioned about segregation and integration, she basically talking about we either, choice to, we, have, we either have a choice to be separate or to be together as citizens of this own country, of this nation. Um, that's the point, that's the emphasis, and that's the point that she was trying to make, is that uh, she believes that uh, we actually should be together, we should be integrated together. Um, all of us, uh, we're defined as a United, United States citizen, um, even though there are other aspects that, that tries to um, create division and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? But she's speaking on the part of being integrated together and stuff integrate together stuff. It was another key thing that, that she mentioned and stuff too. She mentioned a big part about the one uh, about the president and she was saying that the president was on getting funded by the liberal elites and stuff. Now many of you um you might be familiar about the liberal elites but I'm gonna just tell you about them and stuff. The liberal elites is no other than you know what people talk about, you know, like the elite itself or you know, as other people let them know that's the Illuminati or you know whatever. And stuff like that, you know. There are certain people. There, there are certain people in high places, or uh, you know, what I'm saying their position in certain positions to have control of the country. And so that's why you see all these on um, videos, all these on um, things, to reminding people to wake up and and to know who you really are and all, all this stuff there and stuff. You know, what I'm saying which that's another rant for another time and stuff. So in other words, that's what Stacey Dash really was talking about. She was saying it, but she's trying to be subtle about what what she was saying and stuff too and stuff. You know, what I'm saying instead of being blunt about it. You know, what I'm saying so. Um, that's why she's mentioning about BET and stuff like that and stuff. And she mentioned this also. The reason why she was she said BET is because in actuality BET is not black owned and operated by black people anymore. BET was actually um, sold in 2003 to Viacom. Uh, Viacom is one of the the biggest um um. The one, the biggest um, tele telecommunication or tele um, uh, vice uh, companies in, in the United States and stuff, you know what I'm saying? And also, the reason why BT was sold to Viacom, which it was on, well, which it was on the first by Robert Johnson, he was the original owner and CEO of BT. But the reason why it was sold because um, BT was in a huge deficit, they they were sitting around uh, 5.7 million dollar um, in debt. And stuff, so it would have been a better quote unquote business deal for Robert Johnson to go ahead and um, uh, let Viacom buy out to the company for 1.3 billion dollars. So that 1.3 billion dollars have Robert Johnson set for life and stuff, he don't have to, you know, do we have to do anymore and stuff. And plus, he was debt free and stuff. So if you was that person, why why not take that business deal and stuff? You know what I'm saying? Is it, is it right or is it wrong? Does it uh, mean that you know he's less pro black or whatever. No, he does that. He does have a business mindset and stuff. He's a businessman and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, so um, then let's say Viacom owns BET and stuff. And so Viacom uses BET as a marketing strategy to target minorities and stuff. You know what I'm saying? That's why they have all these uh, different commercials that comes on to BET. That's why they all have these movies and stuff like that. For BT to target minorities so they can make a profit off of minorities and stuff. That's the whole nature 
of the business and stuff, you know what I'm saying? So, like, um, everything she was saying and stuff like that, once again, you know, I'm just emphasizing everything she's saying. I honestly agree with what she's saying when you understand exactly what she's coming from. And stuff, you know what I'm saying? So it is, uh, like she said, it is a double standard. Uh, if you want to get rid of the Academy Awards, you might as well get rid of, uh, you know, BET as well and stuff. Because both shows is creating segregation, it's creating separations when it should be knitted together. You know what I'm saying? I, I agree with, um, you know, Spike Lee and I agree with Jada Pickett and all of them and stuff on um, where, where, they, where they say that, hey, you know what I'm saying, there need to be more, um, you know, minorities voted into the Academy Awards. Likewise, at the same time, that it had to be the it had to be the same standard with BET and all these other shows. It just can't be just um quote unquote black people that's receiving awards where you have all these um very talented uh, other actors and stuff as well. You know what I'm saying? So so it had to be in other words it had to be diverse as well and stuff too. So that's that's my time on this on uh, current event rent. Um, I, I may um, do a part two of this rent um, until then. Um, fight faith with faith. God bless y'all.